Same situation with uh, Sancho, Haaland, now Bellingham. He's an upcoming superstar player. Um, and I'm totally convinced that he will leave Dortmund in 2023, maybe to Liverpool, maybe to Manchester United. I think these are two teams who can have very, very good chances to get him. Amazing player, amazing character and very good mentality. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham is going to be probably the name of the summer transfer window next summer. I wouldn't normally do a, a video like this, I suppose. What, is it September? Why am I talking about transfers? I want to follow up on that report from Sky Sports yesterday where they're sort of stirring the pot with Jude Bellingham. I want to speak about Bellingham. I speak about his profile and how, look, I personally think Bellingham is going to be moving to the Premier League next summer. And I think it's a, a straight race between United, Liverpool, City and Chelsea. And I want to run through it and I want your opinions in the comments. Should we be going after Bellingham considering he's probably going to cost in excess of 100 million? You let me know what you think in the comments below. But let's dive straight into this video because look, Dortmund will sell Bellingham this summer. It's the Dortmund business model. It's what they've done. It's their sustainable way. Look, look at that. Sancho, Bellingham and Haaland in the same team. Mm, that must have been exciting to watch as a Dortmund fan. But when it comes to Bellingham, Manchester United, we tried previously to sign him. Back in 2020, that, that picture always cracks me up. I think it's his dad uh, leaving Carrington with his mum. He's there hiding in the back. Look at a beaming smile on his face. He's like, camera's over there. Yes, please. Have a bit of that. But of course, he didn't join Manchester United. He left from Birmingham and joined Dortmund and became the most expensive 17-year-old of all time. And he made the right decision. His career has gone from strength to strength at Dortmund. And what I want to do now in the rest of this video is speak about his profile, his stats, how he'd fit into Manchester United. But before we do, I want to reiterate how excited I'm about this announcement. Guys and girls, if you didn't know, I'm going to be hosting the inaugural first Community United People's TV Poker Tournament over on 888 Poker on the 22nd of September at 8 p.m. called United All In. It's free to enter, $150 prize pool to the winner, and I can't wait to get started. Nearly 400 of you have already joined. I want to get so much. I want to get the whole community in there. And I was like, you know what? Let me brush the dust off. I went and I played a few games on 888 Poker this week. Started off quite slow. Then I got a five and a six diamonds. I'm chasing that plush. I'm like, go on then. Have a little cheeky raise. Let's see what we've got there. Still got the nine on the board. The seven comes up. Give me the eight of diamonds, baby. Nah, give me a king instead. Yeah, lose a little bit there. It is what it is. We started off a bit slow, but I'm like, you know what? I can get this back, ladies and gents. Don't worry about that. I didn't. I went all in towards the end here with an eight and a six. I was chasing again the flush. Two flushes, two missed. Congratulations to him. But I hope I fare a little bit better than that when we actually play the tournament on the 22nd of September, 8 p.m. United all in. Make sure you follow the link in the description. It's free to join a $150 prize pool. You do have to be over 18 to enter. Of course, you have to be a UK resident. But you can use the code POKER20. You can deposit 10 and get $20. I can't wait for this tournament to start. It's the first community type event that I've done for United People's TV. And I can't wait to do more of the same. Let me see if you can beat me. So make sure you follow the link in the description and join this free roll tournament. United all in. I can't wait for it. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. I hope I can win that. But look, when it comes to when it comes to Drew Bellingham, honestly, he's going to be the story of the summer next summer. You could come in and comments. You say, Sam, we could talk about Christopher and Kunku is going to be available for 65 million euros. A different sort of player. And Manchester United's priority next summer. What's it going to be? Are we spending most of our money on a on a Ronaldo replacement? Or will we have the funds to sign a Ronaldo replacement, to sign someone like Drew Bellingham in central midfield and sign a right back? I think all three of those are going to be on our to-do list next summer. Now, Bellingham's actually been speaking about it since the rumours emerged ahead of his game against City. Is that, are they playing City tonight? I mean, it must be. I actually didn't look at the uh, games. But anyway, this is what he said. He said, The club has done loads for me, made me feel very welcome, and given me the opportunities to develop further, to look past that and into the future would be disrespectful. So Bellingham is going to sort of like push it to one side, as you would expect him to do. But at, for a 19-year-old... His levels are ridiculous. And I'm not just talking about uh, sort of his profile, which I've run into now, but I mean like the maturity, the head he's got on his shoulders. He's, he doesn't play like a 19-year-old. Sometimes there are just young players you think, they play like a mature adult. And they seem years ahead of them, ahead of, other, ahead of their peers in terms of their maturity and mental development. And, and Benningham is that sort of player. When it comes to his stats, his stats, well, he's a very... Very, very impressive central midfielder. Uh, all across the board, look, progressive passes, touches, dribbles completed, up here, shot-creating actions, assists, 
non-penalty expected goals down. Anyway, you look really... You could say that his passes attempted should be higher. His pass completion could be better. I mean, it's almost like he's 19 and he's not the complete player yet. Uh, but just the natural talent of this kid is almost unrivaled. And when it comes to where he plays, we'll take a quick look at his heat map here over on uh, SofaScore. Uh, let's compare it. Uh, it's probably the best things to do is com to compare his three seasons in the Bundesliga. For his first breakthrough season, look, you can see that he played the majority of his football over on the right-hand side, but he was just everywhere inside that. In, in, in between both boxes, he was everywhere. We go to the season after, switched a little bit more to the left-hand side, had a little bit more clarity on his role there, but still, he's everywhere. And if, I, I mean, the... the the pool is not that big to, to sort of look at from the Bundesliga so far. But again, it's looking more like it's going to be a map like that. Jude Bellingham is a ridiculously exciting prospect. And I think whoever signs him next summer is... We, we, we talk about generational talent so often. But I just think that the kids are getting so much better than they were a few years ago. But you, that you get players like Sancho, the quality that he is at the 21. Uh, uh, Haaland, who looks like an absolute goal-scoring freak. And, and Bellingham is 19. Reiterate the fact that he is 19. Now, you could talk about Real Madrid in this one. You could talk about Barcelona if you wanted to. In my opinion, I think Bellingham's, Bellingham's only coming back to the Premier League. Obviously, I'm not sure whether he was born in Birmingham, but Birmingham was the club he was at uh, on a youth level before he moved to Borussia Dortmund. But when it comes to the Premier League, we've sort of... We've cranked it up in the spending. Over 2.2 billion spent in this summer transfer winner that's just gone, which is the grand total of the Bundesliga, plus La Liga, plus Serie A, plus League One, I think. 550, plus that, that's what, that's 1.3 billion, plus that, 1.8 billion, roughly, plus that. It's there, thereabouts. The Premier League spending is. The power of the Premier League is insane now. And I personally think it's basically a straight-up hug of war between four teams here, for Bellingham. And I would say Liverpool are the most crying out for a play like Bellingham. And of the profile, and that's the big thing about Manchester United's transfers from now on, it's the first, first word I'm going to be asking, the profile. Is Bellingham of, the similar, of a similar profile to Frankie de Jong, who we chased all the last summer we didn't get? And therefore, it's that sort of player who we're going to be going after. No, he's slightly different. I would say he's more suited to what Liverpool are desperately lacking. I think City are just stacked. But if they wanted to add another one in, they probably could. And it would improve their team. Of course, it would. Bellingham would improve pretty much the, start, the starting eleven of every, every one of these teams. He's, he's that good. He absolutely is. And Chelsea, I mean, they tried and they tried and tried. And they end up with Dennis Sicario. So they'll definitely be going in for him. But when it comes to Manchester United's lineup, it's, it's quite easy where you drop him in. It really is quite easy, in my opinion, anyway. Now that we've got Casemiro in that team, I mean, you're, you're going to be looking at options galore. But Bellingham, inside that role there, effectively what it would be would be Manchester United playing with two central midfielders rather than a holding midfielder and one ball-progressing midfielder. It would be Bellingham and Eriksen working as in tandem rather than a pure traditional number six, if it was to happen, if Ericsson was to stay, all purely hypothetical. But although you could go and fairly say that Bellingham is not of the exact profile of Frankie Dion, Bellingham is far more suited to be closer to the edge of the opposition's box than he is to be the, per the person receiving the ball off his defence first. But it's not to say that he couldn't work inside a midfield. I mean, he absolutely could. And as I said, at the age of 19, for him to be as good as he currently is, it's outrageous. It really is outrageous. And Eric Ten Hag would absolutely love to have him at Manchester United. He really, really would. I can say that without a shadow of doubt. Not that I've asked it. I've, I haven't got Eric's number, unfortunately. I should, I should try and get it at some point. But look, what do you think about the Jude Bellingham rumours? Right? That's why I'm doing this video. I want to have a quick conversation after tomorrow's game against Sheriff, we're going to have a lot of time, 17 days, to really sort of take a step back, maybe talk about phase two of the rebuild. Phase one happened this summer, and Benningham might be part of phase two. Or do you think we'd just be outpriced for him, given the fact that we need a replacement for Ronaldo in the summer transfer window that's coming up as well? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure, as I said, 
doing the, uh, the integration earlier, make sure you sign up to that tournament. United All In. The link is in the description. I can't wait to play it. I mean, it's been a long time since I had a good game of poker. Hopefully, I can win. Imagine I win. I won't win. I might do. Probably won't, though. But I want you to be involved. So make sure you get involved. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new as well. But Drew Bellingham. Imagine. Imagine.